Yesterday, Republican candidate Nikki Haley spent weeks, not yesterday, but she spent weeks doing damage control after leaving out slavery as a cause of the Civil War. But she just blew it back up yesterday, and her rival Ron DeSantis really isn't that much better on the subject. Take a look. Are you a racist party? Are you involved in a racist party? No. We're, we're not a racist country, Brian. We've never been a racist country. Our goal is to make sure that today is better than yesterday. Are we perfect? No. But our goal is to always make sure we try and be more mm -hmm. perfect every day that we can. I know I faced racism when I was growing up, but I can tell you today is a lot better than it was then. You agree that the U.S. has never been a racist country? Well, the U.S. Uh, is not a, a racist country, and we've overcome things in our history. We've had challenges with, with how race was viewed. It doesn't matter your background. This is the best place to grow up and to pursue your dreams of any place in the entire world. Well, clearly, you have not been listening to some of the people who are running to be president <laughs> in, in the country. So I don't understand why it's still so difficult to just admit racism is and has been part of U.S. history. Yeah. I mean, does, I mean, when you think back 1849, 1869, they lynched 20, 30 Italians because they were Italian. Mm. They lynched black folks. Black folks didn't climb up in the trees and lynch themselves. Yeah. You know, people were angry and came and burned them out. Emmett Till did not do that to himself. That was done to him because somebody was angry because he overstepped in their mind what he was supposed to do as a black person. So you can't tell me it, it hasn't existed, doesn't exist. Yeah, we are trying to get it better, but stop trying to whitewash it, because every time they say, we're going to take away black history, we're going to take away women's history, what do you think that says? Look, look we all know, uh, we know, that Nikki Haley is an incredibly smart, articulate woman. But every time she opens up her mouth uh, when it comes to race or slavery, she opens it up to put her foot in it. And why does she why do that? Why does she do that? Does that make because her she's that? running in a party where talking, where being a woman of color, talking about race, is considered being a whiny, ingrate, ungrateful to the United States for the opportunity it's given us and playing identity politics. Right. And so she then tiptoes around it, and every time she talks about it, she sounds a fool. And she particularly sounds a fool because she was the governor of South Carolina who removed the Confederate flag from the state capitol Absolutely. after nine people, yes. nine black people, were killed yes. by a white supremacist at In Mother church. Emanuel Church. Yeah. And, you know, I, I saw the other day... So it strikes us quite differently when you hear a woman of color deny racism in American history. And it strikes differently because in April I saw her post this really nice picture congratulating her daughter for marrying uh, her son-in-law, who's African-American. Mm -hmm. Well, before the loving decision, her daughter would not have been able to marry her husband. Yeah. Her daughter would not have existed because yeah. Nikki Haley could not have married her white husband before 1967 and the loving decision. So that's how racist this country's well, all, history has all been. All she really had to say, it wasn't that complicated. No. She could have said, well, we did have, we were one of the countries in the world that had slavery, which was a racist policy. And we've come, come up somewhat a long way with a lot of people. It's gotten better. According to her, it's gotten better. Um, but there was Jim Crow, there's redlining, there's a lot of segregation still going on in the country. She herself experienced racism as a kid, an Indian American. Her parents who so came her here, dad, her father uh, had to was the only. I think they said that um, he had to go to a black university in order he had to be a PhD, accepted. And the he had only a, way he could, yeah. the only college that would accept yeah. him was. But I mean, a black it's college. it's not that hard to say yes. The country did have a bad policy of racism, but I think well, it just which, is, which, it's which, flat out a government-sanctioned policy. Yes. And let's not forget the indigenous people who we took the land yes. from. I mean, to say it's not a racist country is just shows you how well, craven she's become to appeal to her base. But I, I reject right. the very question, mm -hmm. is this a racist country? Because the implication is that everyone that lives here is racist. So that's why it's such a gotcha question, I think, for so many people. That's why they have to immediately say, we are not a racist country. 
The proper question is, do we have a racist history, and is right. that racism baked still within the very systems that still subjugate people? Yeah, but that would mean That's, that they'd have to actually they, they answer have to the talk question. About it. So, you know, there's no question that this, his, uh, this country was founded on racism. I mean, it's in the Constitution that black people were considered three-fifths of mm -hmm. a person. That's right. And so you can't ignore that. But when you ask the question, is the party racist? Is the country racist? That implies everyone within it is. So why and can't that she is say not some true. people she shouldn't are. be able to jump out and say it. That's she the part that I would say, say even it. with voters, and it's Anna, you were alluding to pandering to the party. These are facts. These aren't debatable. She's doing a harder thing by tiptoeing around what's obvious to every other human being in the world, possibly, but in this country. But isn't it because country. of the base? I don't, I, don't, I think that's what's in, inspiring, but if you stand for something, you would understand. That's still an easy question to answer. Was this a racist country? Absolutely. Is this so, a racist but, country? No, she jumped to that. He, yeah. They said, is it, she goes, it was never, it, it was never a never. racist country. That's the, but that's the important part the because problem? from slavery to 100 years after, there were Jim Crow laws, the loving decision, all these things. To answer that question would not throw any voter off. And here's the problem, uh, too, is a, sure it, from a purely strategy standpoint, the racists in the Republican Party, which I think is a small minority, I do not, I reject that the majority of the party is racist, they will never be with Nikki Haley. She is a woman of color. They're not going right. to support me. I'm an Arab American. Like, they're not going to be with you. Don't pander to them. But again, have that moral court courage that we saw with John McCain when somebody came to him and espoused conspiracy theories about Obama's upbringing, say, I reject that. That's wrong. Lead, don't they follow. They haven't done that. One of them we has need, done we it. We need that, and that just feels like it doesn't exist in the moment. The minute they do politics. that, they're out of the pod. Look yeah. what happened to Chris I, Christie. I don't think so. 50% of reject, people want something other than Trump, and most of the party is not racist. Well, you know, it, it, I know a lot of Republicans, and a lot, I have a lot of Republican friends, and so I know that not everybody that, yeah. that you... No one wants to be painted with a big yeah. brush. You know, we are all individuals, and that's how you have to meet us. You have to meet us and know and get to know who we are to figure out what we're thinking.